Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. The newcomers, my name is Didi and this is how it all started. Yes, by walking on the beach and talking about Bitcoin, blockchain and life. Today, doing a cool video where I talk about some cool news. Uh, but also about the Bitcoin price. So let's combine those two while I walk the beautiful beach here in Portugal. Yes, it's empty because it's only 12 degrees or something. That's why I'm wearing my Bitcoin hoodie. Of course, you can buy the Bitcoin hoodie in our store. Now, I'm going to switch to the screen and you will see some news articles. I will talk about that and let's see how this will go. Hopefully, you won't be too much disturbed. I'm going to walk that way. The sun is better. Uh, by the waves guys now first news article that I read today was a really cool one ah, you want to see my view by the way bam this is my view the Sun is just coming up the beach is beautiful empty look isn't that amazing Portugal now, let's go into the first news article, guys. Yes, I will talk about the Bitcoin price. Please, ble keep on hanging in. The price is going to be really cool. I have some amazing charts. But Bitcoin, like, if you as a government cannot buy Bitcoin anymore, <coughs> then you just seize them. So, if governments are not able or too late with mining Bitcoin or with buying Bitcoin, they just seize them. They seized $3.6 billion worth of Bitcoin from the couple that did the Bitfinex hack. So that is also a way for governments to get Bitcoins. We don't mine. No, we don't even buy them. We just seize them. So that's how Bulgaria did it. I think Bulgaria has over like, I think uh, 120,000 Bitcoins or something, the government. So they did it. Now, of course, the United States is following up. Very positive news, guys, this morning is KPMG Canada adds Bitcoin and Ethereum to its balance sheet. You know, guys, when accountants are adding Bitcoin to its balance sheet, you know you need to start hodling Bitcoin. Because let's be honest, an accountant hodling Bitcoins was like not even believable a couple of years ago. We couldn't believe that. Nobody would have believed it. And now the biggest accounting office, KPMG, is hodling Bitcoin on their balance sheet. Yes, it is Canada, but the rest of their franchise organization however it is it in KPMG all over the world will probably follow this is an accountant business this is not just a company <laughs> they know some stuff about money and they now start to huddle Bitcoin that's like kick-ass big news guys so really positive now let's go two more articles before the price Bitcoin improve before I start about the price and that was I saw this one as well because that is, of course, I think a very important one. Russia is set to recognize crypto as a form of currency. The government and the central bank of Russia, they agreed that cryptocurrency is a currency now. So instead of banning it, that you read like a few months ago, they don't ban it. They are now even recognizing it as a currency. Really positive news for Bitcoin. And then also this one, yes. Bitcoin donations are pouring into Ukraine as Russia masses troops on the border. You know that there is a war, kind of war going on between Russia and Ukraine. So Ukraine is being funded by Bitcoiners and now Russia is making Bitcoin uh, a legal currency. So <clears throat> something going on over there, guys. Um, but now this shows us that these donations and should be done by Bitcoin. Also the truckers in Canada, they should accept Bitcoins as a donation. Why? They cannot, they cannot be frozen. There is no centralized uh, entity that can freeze or take their Bitcoins. Just like GoFuckMe or GoFundMe, whatever you call them, um, now froze all their accounts. That would not have been possible with Bitcoin. And that is why now people are sending Bitcoins to Ukraine. It is borderless censorship resistance and many more advantages to do this with Bitcoin so that's really cool guys let's see was there one more news or oh, cool I'm going to the price already <sighs> long time ago ah that was the last news article so 
I will go into the price of course let's go over here and start with this one I found this tweet I think his name is Brett really cool chart uh, I zoomed in on the chart he's drawing the line so you can see all the um, the all, all the bull runs the blue one is the first one 2013 2014 then you have the red one that is the 2017 bull run and you have the um, light blue one or mint green whatever color you call this uh, that is the current bull run and if you draw those white lines the first white line starts there on the top goes to the tip and then goes to the top of the second bull run you see and then you can see that from the second of the bull run um, we jumped up now if you look at the second bull run top the white line and that goes to the current bull run then if we would break that white line we should go to that blow off top just follow the lines it's really cool to see and then the top of the bull run should be in line with that um, top line over there that goes from top of 2013-14 to the top of 2017 and that one the yellow line now should be hitting around that line so that is really cool that's way above 100k by the way so if the bull run would be continuing like the other bull runs and be breaking these levels then after breaking that level we should see this beautiful um, beautiful line going up which is now yellow of course this is very like uh, hopefully this will happen but you never know check how it went the second line by the way the midline that is not like from the top that is from the mid of the bull run to the mid of the bull run in 2017 just just before the blow of top to the probably mid of the bull run now so this is the mid that is the mid that was the mid of the bull run so i'm going to zoom out again so you can see uh, clearly so that mid line the white line that is to all the mids so if we will break that one we will probably see this view will blow off top and that is also what this chart is saying this is comparing all um, the cycles just before the parabolic move just before we had that huge blow of top so in 2013 that was the move so be be between the 1.272 and the 1.618 level before we had a parabolic move in 2017 exactly the same between the 1.272 and the 1.618 level and we had also the downward orange trend line and when we broke that we had the blow off top and what do we see now again yes it is a longer bull market but exactly acting between those same levels again 1.272 1.6 so after that we can expect another blow off top created by Blake on twitter now then we have this one also really cool chainexposed.com um, I found it on that website you can see <clears throat> the blue lines they represent the only three times we've had such a supply shift so the short term to the long term coin ratio it means the short term holders into the long term so the supply at the moment is only held by long term term holders the retails are wrecked that's what it's saying a little bit so also we're far away from the blow off top 70,000 was just a warm-up is this chart saying and if you look at the chart you can only agree with him you can see that the red line is uh, hitting that green uh, box which means that the long-term holders have the most bitcoins and every time that happens look the price is going up so every time the long-term holders take the bitcoins in control like over there look at the top the price goes up and we see exactly the same now again we are in the green box and the blue line is going up so we have divergence and the red line in the green box is already going up a little bit so could this lead again to this huge run in bitcoin now if we do to believe this this chart is telling us exactly the same you can see indeed the supply held by the short-term holders so every time in this chart we had that red box look to the circles on the chart every time we were in this area after that the price went up massively every time again and again and again circles in the red area price massively up circles in the red area price massively going up and we now have the circles in the red area so the price will probably massively go up last thing 
somebody saw me on German television. I didn't even see it. I don't even know which images they used. So do you have the images? Then please share them with me. Ba -ba -ba back. Yes, that was my video for today, guys. Um, is there anything else you want me to talk about? Then please let me know down below in the comments. There are so many things I would wish to talk to you about, but I don't want to make the videos too long. Um, the short term trading, guys. Trading. Uh, yes, of course, I always use the BAM BAM indicator uh, to indicate when to go long and short, when to buy and to sell. Let's quickly jump into the four hour chart just to see what is happening there. And for the rest, just join our Discord because I will sharing be sharing more charts on the short term uh, on Discord. <laughs> Uh, let's see, ah, Didi, come on, man, my telephone. Ah, it's always like not reacting to what I want to do. So I need to do it like, give me one sec, guys. Jep, jep, over here. This is the four hour chart. Um, as you can see, a lot of long and short flags. At the moment, oh, I have too many uh, windows open. Let's do it like this. At the moment, you can see there is a short on the long flag, but there is a long over there already. That is the long that we took. The short was indicating a short, so if you do spot trading, you buy at the flags and you sell at the flags. And leverage trading, you wait for their candles to close down below the yellow stepping line. If they don't close down below the yellow stepping line, then just don't do the short yet. And that's what you see. The candles didn't close down below the stepping line, so the price even went up longer and turned into a long again. Now, we saw a short on the top over there and we saw the candles closing down below that yellow stepping line this means that you really need to sell um, your long position or you need to sell your long leverage position or your uh, spot trading that is what you do at that short track because the red candles are closing down below the yellow stepping line which is an indication mostly we go to that red line over there or to the blue line over there which is a retest of the 41k so just that you know how the bam bam works and bam we are back again and that was the short term also just join our discord because next friday so that's in like a couple of days i don't even know how many days i think it's wednesday or thursday we will do a huge announcement i will do the announcement first in discord for the discord members then i will do the announcement on twitter and instagram and all the other social media but it's going to be big it's going to be free and big. So <laughs> you need to join all the social medias and especially the family Discord member um, channel uh, to be acknowledged, to, to, be, to be first in line of hearing this huge news because I created something that will be free for you guys. And I know, I know for sure you want to have it. You want to have this. So make sure you sign up. Um, the rest, we are in Portugal, as you can see, the beautiful Portugal. Um, why are we in Portugal? Because the kids, after three months Mexico, said, Dad, what about skiing for a month? Skiing for a month? So I said, okay, I want to ski. I need to lose some weight so we can go ski. Um, we will stay in Portugal for some time. Then we will go to Spain and we will ski in the Sierra Nevada for a month. And after that, we don't have plans yet, but probably back to Portugal to build that village that you just read about in CNBC and many other newspapers. Now, that was really everything for today, guys. I'm going to do my beach walk. I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy that information, please give the video a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about these videos? Should I do one or twice a week? Such a cool video with beautiful beach sounds so you get to wake up in a very relaxed vibe. Thanks for watching and see you probably tomorrow again, guys. Bam!